Hi guys, this is what we're going to be making today. Our sheath and holster and knife making workbench. It's eight foot long, two foot wide, has an upper shelf, lower shelf. Uh, what I used in materials is a four by eight sheet of plywood, eight eight foot two by fours, which cost me approximately $53 and some change if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and just some simple tools to get it built. And the tools are a circular saw, an impact screwdriver, some inch and a half wood screws, some three and a half inch wood screws, a speed square or straight edge or anything else you may have to draw a straight line, and a pencil. And we have the plans here that you can find online or in the links below to help ease the process of making a bench. And uh, what we'll do, we'll get set up and uh, get started and show you how we build it. Okay guys, what I'm going to do first is cut out the legs for the bench. Each leg is going to be 32 inches and we're going to need 8 of them. 32, 64, and with the 8 foot material, that'll leave a piece that's actually 32 inches on the, on the end of the board. That way we use all of our material. straight edge, mark each mark, that way I get a nice clean straight cut. Okay, I got everything marked out. I'm going to get the saw to see that real quick and uh, we'll start cutting. I'm going to grab the saw just, just for safety, you know, just want to make sure your safety guard and everything is functioning properly. No, no wood or anything stuck in there. And, uh, just be safe when you're working with these kind of tools. And we'll just start get started cutting. thing we'll do is we start to do cut out the frame. The upper frame of the bench is going to be uh, 93 inches on the first cuts and we'll need two of those. And you'll see in the you'll see in the diagram the reason for the 93 inches is to allow for the uh, board placement. That way, the overall length of the bench will be eight foot, and that way the plywood will work out perfectly. Uh, and as well as the width too, we'll cut the uh, the, the width of the uh, top 
frame is going to be 18 and we'll need two of those as well. I'm using one of the scrap pieces that was wrapped over from the uh, legs. Get those marked. Okay, let's get those cut out. Two of them, 93, and two of them, 18. And these scrap pieces we'll use a little later to help us uh, assemble the lower frame. So don't, don't get rid of those just yet. Okay, the guys, this is what you should have up to this point. We have eight legs at 32 inches. We have the upper frame, which is two 93 inch boards and two 18 inch boards. And the lower frame, again, we have two 93 inch boards and two 18 inch boards. All right, what I'll do now is uh, get the uh, drill and some screws and uh, we'll start putting it together. Uh, the next step I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the legs. And what I'm going to be using to do that is the uh, impact screwdriver here and the 3 inch uh, wood screws. I'm going to get these set up here and I'll start assembling them. And how we're going to do that, we're just going to form them in kind of like an L, one on top of the other. And we're going to put three screws in them. Stay back from the end of the board, maybe three and a half, four inches. And you can just use that with your tape or your scrap block you had earlier there, and that'll tell you about how far back. If you get too close to the end, the screw will actually split the board. And just keep it nice and flush on the sides.
do it perfectly in the center. You can just kind of judge it, you know, with your eye. Number two. inch pieces are going to go in between these two. That way all our measurements will work out. Now you can see that in the diagram. It'll give you a you know a picture of how they need to be. Okay we're going to use two of the three inch wood screws on each uh, joint here. And what you want to kind of do is come back from the end a little bit and angle back into the wood. There, there again, that'll help with the splitting. with 
between. step is to install the legs. Uh, again, for this step we're going to be using the 3 inch wood screws. The uh, long side of the bench is going to be either the front or the back, uh, you know, depending on which way you turn it against the wall. But what we want to do is keep the 2x4 uh, the that's uh, what I call the face plate out, you know, in front of the bench. So we're going to keep that just like that. We're just three and a half inch way. Just facing the front. I'm going to keep pressure down on the frame and keep this down on the floor that way everything stays flush. And remember to stay back from the ends, that way we don't split anything. fours in the diagram which way they turn. scrap blocks we had from earlier and what we're going to do is we're going to turn them up on the three and a half inch way that way the, the lower frame stays off the ground just a little bit just put 
one in each corner. Now we'll take the lower frame. Make sure everything's sitting down on our scrap blocks we have. Okay, and again, we're going to be using the three inch screws again for this step. And this will draw everything up nice and, nice and snug. Pretty much done. We just got to install the uh, plywood for the lower shelf and the plywood for the upper shelf. And as you'll see in the diagram, once all the measurements come out, we have exactly eight foot this way and exactly two foot this way, which will be utilizing uh, one half uh, of our plywood, which will save the materials. And let me get a uh, get the plywood set up here and uh, we'll get that cut and get ready to install. Okay guys, I got the bench set up and we'll go ahead and get the plywood cut and uh, get it screwed down to the top. It's actually nice to have the bench here to actually cut off of this time instead of cutting from the floor. We know the, uh, the top dimensions is uh, two foot by eight foot, so we're just going to scribe a line at two foot. Just to make a mark. And you can use your tape measure here and lock it down. It may take a little practice to get this procedure, this uh, technique down, but once you learn it, it's a really easy way to mark materials. Now we're going to take our saw and we're going to set the depth of the blade about an eighth of an inch over the bottom of the plywood. This will cut down on a lot of, if you got the blade set all the way down, a lot of times what it'll do is cause your plywood to splinter, but if you set this depth on it just through the bottom of the plywood, you get a nice clean cut. Okay, 
for this, we'll be using the uh, inch and a half screws. And you want to start on one corner, getting everything nice and flush on the edges. On the other corner. square up the bench. And what I mean by square it up, we know that the factory cuts of the plywood is square. So what we're going to do is just slide the plywood over and that'll automatically square up the bench. Okay, we have a little ledge here on the bench. Like you're going to be making knives and stuff, what I found is being able to get your hand under here and scrape small parts off works out a lot better for me. And the way I like to find that board to put some screws in is again, use our scrap and put it up here. And that'll, just on the other side, it'll be where the board is because that's, you know, an inch and a half back, so it works out perfect. tools that require you know a lot of lag bolts you can take this here and cut it and use it as blocking underneath for the lag bolts to go through to hold your tools nice and secure but we'll set that off later until we get our tools and uh, get them mounted to the bench now what we need to do is measure our bottom uh, shelf board and you'll see in the diagram it should be uh, 21 by 93. That's what we're going to mark out our other sheet of plywood. Make a quick check, slide, slide your plywood over, make a quick check, make sure you're not going to cut the top of your workbench. should slide pretty much into place. And there we go. And we'll just use a few of the inch and a half screws to attach the bottom shelf.
there we have it. There's our sheet and holster and knife making workbench. Uh, the good thing about this design is you can actually come back in later and you know, put it in two fours, add drawers in there if need be. Uh, well, let's uh, put it in place see how it looks. screw this to the wall or you know you can leave it freestanding that way you can move it around uh, just depending on the options you want to do with it thanks for watching <laughs>